What happened there? Is it speed first? I had a competitive practice. Uh, guys getting after it. Uh, first day of pads, gets physical, gets chippy. Obviously can't have penalties. It's unfortunate. But uh, I think everyone's protecting their sides and uh, just trying to establish physicality the first day. But we got to keep it, you know, within rules. Yeah. Have you seen Joe Judge that angry before? Yeah. Really? It's not the f yeah, I, I have seen in my uh, six years with Joe Judge in my career, I've seen him angry a couple times. Logan, do you? Re I know you're defending your teammates, but do you regret kind of hitting a guy in the back like that? I mean, isn't that kind of the way some guys can get hurt? Um, I regret any penalty. You know, if I would have cost my team any yards, I regret that. Have you ever had a coach line a team up to do push-ups and run gasters like that after? A fight breaks out like that. Has that ever happened to you? Uh, yeah. Was it Joe? Huh? Was it Joe in New England? It was in New England. Yeah. I mean, look, guys, it's not my first time running laps at practice. It's not my first time having punishments at practice. I mean, I've been coached by some pretty tough coaches in my career, and uh, I don't think Joe's reinventing the wheel with uh, running laps for penalties or gashes. Just uh, you got to be more disciplined. Logan, how does how does this team? Move on from this. I mean, yeah, you guys gonna be in the same locker room. It'd be great, man. It's football, you know. It's a physical sport. If you're not, if you're not, you know, tough or chippy, you know, I don't know if you can play at this level. So it's football. Everything there is in between the lines, and we'll pay our, you know, pay our dues. But I mean, we're great. Uh, me, Evan, uh, we're locker buddies, you know. So we'll be fine. Whoever else was involved, you know, I think Daniel Jones might have jumped in there. I think everyone respects Daniel. So, I mean, this stuff, I mean, you might write about it, I'm sure, but this is a, this is a football team, um, and practice gets physical and chippy, but everything is uh, is left in between the lines, for sure. I was at the bottom of the bottom of the pile, so I didn't. I don't know anything that happened after me. Um, I was just trying to defend my teammate, um, and, you know, at the end of the day, I'm defending my teammates. And I'm going to try to do it within the rules of the game. But first and foremost, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to defend my guys. That's my job as a leader on this team. Just like it's Daniel's job, just like it's a lot of our jobs. I'm sure Saquon would have hopped in there if he was, you know, if they cleared him to. I don't know if he might have hopped in there. I don't know. But um, I'm okay with guys who are willing to, you know, respect each other. Because right now we're against each other. But when another opponent comes in here, hopefully we'll be all on the same side. Was that was Evans had a cheap shot? I got to look at the replay. I got to talk to the refs. Do you regret that you hit from behind them? I, I'm gonna pay my punishments. I don't regret anything I did out there. I was protecting my guys, so but at the end of the day, I'm a grown man and uh, I pay my dues. That's, that's what this league's about. You ever see anything like this in regards to the running afterwards? Yeah, I have. I have seen stuff like this before. Uh, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen stuff. I've seen some uh, training room fights. To that extent, like in regards to the running afterwards, the, the judge Joe's uh, penalty for you guys. That's what I was uh, yeah, I have. We heard one word repeatedly from Joe from a distance, but what was his message to you guys when he pulled y'all together? Um, you know, there's consequences for penalties, and we're a team all together. So we broke it down as a team. Everyone who had differences, you know, said they're good. I mean, I don't wish for any more training, uh, training camp fights, but it's not my first training camp fight. Um, it's not my 10th, not mine personally, but not on a team. I've it's training camp, fellas. Like, there's going to be some some animosity between the sides, but I think it's it's all well and good at the sport. Daniel said he, he believes that whatever Joe said, he got his point across to everyone that was out there. Do you feel the same way? 100%. Joe's the leader of this team. He's got everyone respect, and what he says goes. And uh, um, he definitely, I mean, we're a team. I think you ask anybody in that locker room, we're, we're united. We're, we're, um, we're happy to be teammates. And looking back at it, I understand what everyone was doing in that situation, and I think people were respect. Uh, protecting what they thought was done wrong. Was that a record for half bomb for, for Joe? Uh, um, I don't want to. Yeah, it was a lot. I, it was, it was a lot. I'm happy my kids weren't at this practice today. <laughs> Logan, can something like that threaten team unity, or from your experience, when it happens, does it bring teams together? Or is it like you have the decision now where it goes? We had Kiwi, Justin Tuck, and OC Miura come speak to us yesterday. And they talked about how great teams, they respect, they take the identity of their head coach, which is Joe Judge, which was Tom Coughlin, but the players run the locker room. So if me, Evan Ingram, Saquon, Jabril Peppers, Daniel Jones, 
Um, if we want to stay together, teams want to stay together. And I'm sitting here right now as a leader on the team, Blake Martinez as well, James Bradbury. We're fine. We're together. But players got to take ownership. Players are tired of losing games around here. The fan base is tired. Us players are tired. Management gave us an opportunity to give us better roster this year. They allocated the funds to it. And uh, we're coming out and competing. But we got respect for each other, 100%. But we're going to protect our sides. We're going to compete. So if our nucleus, if our quick key veterans are together, the locker room will follow, just like the great defensive linemen and the great linebackers and the great leaders of this team in the past. You don't think they had chippiness about them? You don't think they had griminess about them? We play in New Jersey, man. So there's going to be some chippiness. There's going to be some griminess. But we're leaving it within the lines. And I'll take a team like that. I'll take a team like that every single day. And I told the secondary, I'm their leader, and I'm going to protect them if I feel like something's wrong. And I'll take my punishment like a man. But uh, there's no bad blood. Me and Evan, we're close, and we're going to push each other to to both be great players. He's a tough tight end to cover, um, and I'm trying to make him concentrate each and every play, and I'm going to try to make it the hardest day of his life every single day out here, and Daniel. I'm trying to make it hard on those guys. So, um, And they're making me better, too, as a safety. So you look take two more. Obviously, when you go back in there, you're going to see him. You guys are going to What are you guys going to say to him to kind of hash this out? What do you want to eat for lunch? Hmm. <laughs> you say, you know, last call, yeah. Jimmy, I mean, some of this stuff happens to be able to establish that rapport and the relationship. Do you view this as a good opportunity for you as a leader? Uh, just, just I, I view every day as a good opportunity. I think as a leader, I got to come in with certain energy. I think it's not only my job to, uh, to, to do my job, but I think it's my job to pick other people up around here with some experience under my belt, with some Super Bowls under my belt. Sometimes guys look at me um, to, to bring the juice a little bit on my side and in the locker room side. And um, as long as they respect me, um, then I'm doing the, doing the right job. So um, I view each and every day as I look, we're in full pads tomorrow. So I'm excited to see how we come out and we can lead into tomorrow, have a cleaner day out here. But it was definitely physical today. The offense moved us up the ball a little bit. They had, in my opinion, their best day um, today. So we get to get them back tomorrow. But we're all giants. We're all giants. and. Whoever comes in here this year, hopefully we have a home field advantage with the fans, and we're gonna be a, we're gonna be a chippy, grimy group. If I learned anything from those those veterans who came in yesterday and spoke about winning Super Bowls, you need a tough tough locker room. And I've been in a couple of tough locker rooms. I've won a couple of Super Bowls, and I know what it takes. And I know what those training camps were like. So, like I said, it wasn't my first time part of a training camp fight. It wasn't my first lap. It wasn't my first f bomb. My first push up. I've been in this for quite some time. It's just um, it's not necessary all the time. But I understand there was a lot of passion out there, and I'll take passion.